yeah, I'm not going to take all your time, guys, because I just got done watching Pan and fucking A, man. Spoiler review, and welcome to Think About It Reviews. Uh, Pan is a huge flop. If you, It's been out for a while. It's a huge flop. There ain't going to be no sequels. None of that shit. So I felt like spoiling. I mean, everybody knows the story of Pan. This is like a prequel to the Pan that we see uh, like in Disney, you know, to the actual story. We, we, this is the Pan that he doesn't even know he's Peter Pan, the great gifted kid who's flying all over the place, sp- sprinkling that cocaine on everybody or something. I mean, this is Pan. This is He's just Pan. Or no, he's just Peter. He's not even Pan yet. He's just Peter. Peter. So... This is directed by Joe Wright. And Joe Wright is, he's done, um, I think he's best known for Pride and Prejudice, Prejudice uh, Atonement. He does those kind of films. So this is directed by uh, Joe Wright. This is starring Hugh Jackman, who is just, he's acting his ass off in this film. But I don't know if I like it or not. We now have Garrett Hudlin. And Garrett Hudlin's from the known Tron Legacy. And this guy his voice like why why man why are you doing this crazy like country style western style like i don't know it it was just such a weird approach to do this voice for hook cap the future captain hook i mean it was i I didn't necessarily like his performance in the film and then you had rooney mara now a lot of controversy about rooney mara playing uh, tiger lily because she you know she's white She's white, she white, she white like rights. And you know what? I could see the controversy. Like, why? Yeah, why are you? She didn't really add anything to the film, honestly. It's not because she's such an amazing actress or anything like that. But I would have liked to see, you know, an actual, a diverse cast in this film. And we didn't get that, really. We got a few of that, but we didn't get that. So, spoiler review, uh, you have been warned. So, I'm just assuming you saw the movie. And honestly, if you haven't yet, I'm just going to tell you why this movie is a mess. I did not hate the movie i didn't hate it by all means but i did not like this film <laughs> i laughed at parts where i shouldn't have laughed honestly so this how this film is is basically peter is abandoned by his mom <laughs> that's basically it uh no peter's mom who in this film was one was once hooked up with the fairy king so and then they had peter Peter. And she used to be in the hands of uh Blackbeard and who's played by Hugh Jackman. But she gets away, of course, she has this thing with uh um this fairy king, which is Peter's dad. Uh she leaves him at an orphanage, and then she goes back and she ends up dying during the film, but they have a nice touching moment at the end. Well anyway, so Peter's growing up in this orphanage and stuff. Uh I really did like in the start of this film, the friendship he had with this other kid, I thought, yeah, you know, that's a great, you, they really felt like they were friends for the little time they were there because they're still kids, but like they feel, they feel like they're best friends. They definitely, there's so, there was great chemistry between him and this kid that when this, when Peter gets taken by Blackbeard and his crew, uh, to pretty much Neverland cause he's using, the, he's paying off this, Oh my god, this nun or nurse, whatever you want to call her. I'll get to that in a minute. Well, yeah, he pays her off to take these take kids from the orphanage so he can have them work in a mine to collect fairy dust. That's right, fairy dust. Cocaine. Um but uh, this the Peter's friend doesn't go onto the ship because he jumps from the ship and he lands on top of the roof of the actual orphanage village uh, orphanage uh building. And then we see Peter afraid of heights, so he doesn't jump off. So it was kind of sad to see that his kid didn't go with him because, I mean, they established right from the get-go that they're really best friends and they get in all kinds of trouble, <laughs> you know, trying to figure out who Peter, P, uh, like, they go look for Peter's file and they see, like, oh, yeah, you're, um, you definitely, your, your mom wrote you a letter and, you know, Peter can't read and then his friend has to read for him. I mean, I really did like that relationship in the film. Now... The reason I say this film's a mess is because tonally it's a mess too. Like it, it's a beautiful looking film. There's a lot of great use of CG. There's a lot of great um, shots in this film. I mean, a lot of great direction, but then there's a lot of bad direction, and it's like a it's like a fifty fifty for fifty fifty one. You know, fifty percent of it's not too bad, and the fifty percent is just like so messy and just hysterical. It's 
funny and it's not trying to be funny um in the very beginning it is established like this mood the cinematography the tone of it the look of it feels a little uh grounded down to earth but then when this nun hits when this this like the nerd the main chick from the orphanage comes in and says peter like my god she was so goofy and out there it was like what the hell is going on like everything else that surrounds her is realistic and just not or not not even realistic but if it, it doesn't feel goofy in any way but when she's just comes in she's just my god it feels like i'm watching fucking matilda i mean it just does not work it's hilarious watching this performance go on and just feeling the the atmosphere and everything surround this film while she's doing this and everything surrounding her and just how it looks that it's like it does not work it doesn't work man so once peter gets taken he goes to neverland uh this is where it doesn't work again like never everything looks cool you know all the different uh visuals look great but Hugh Jackman comes on the scene as Blackbeard, and this guy is so energetic. He, you could tell he's acting his ass off. You, I mean, P- Peter, and with all these other kids that have been taken, you see Hugh Jackman saying all these the, the dialogue. The dialogue doesn't doesn't work sometimes in this film at all. Uh, it doesn't because Hugh Jackman starts you know spouting his words like oh, this is Neverland, and he's saying these big words. He's getting the crowd like going, and he's like, oh, you'll work for me, and I never, I am no mercy see if you do something i will kill you yeah like you see these kids clapping while he's saying these huge big words that i don't even know what the fuck they mean how the hell do these kids know what they mean so he was out there man i mean there were sometimes some scenes that when he was in that was actually really done really well and actually especially the scene with him and peter when him and peter are he's saying like are you after peter flies after he shows he can fly well he doesn't know how to fly he just flies once <laughs> but there's one scene where he says are you here to kill me are you the prophet are you the pro- is the prophecy true and that scene was actually really great i thought hugh jackman really w- came off very since sinc- not sincere but he showed so much great emotion in that scene and even uh peter did a great job as well um in this film and peter is played by levy miller and he, him that one particular scene with him and hugh jackman was actually really good so we see hook we see hook and he's a minor he's he, i guess he's been taken he has like this background where uh you know he didn't really know his parents this and that or he didn't know his parents but he lied uh it, it's kind of vague his backstory and stuff so he he's mining i mean he's a full-on adult man okay he's a full-on adult man everybody else in there is freaking kids they're kids except one person who's like overseeing them all and that's like uh schmiegel <laughs> nah uh, i think it is schmiegel actually schmiel schmiel his name's schmiegel in here it's so funny uh schmiegel who's overseeing everything and he's not all there so to speak but i'm wondering while i'm watching this film it's like why the fuck is hook the why isn't he on like blackbeard's crew he's oh, why is this older dude mining he should be up there on the crew like i would i would see hook saying why the fuck you here man we got kids to do this shit come on i want you to be a killer i want you to take out all these savages which is tiger lily's uh crew basically tiger lily's tribe um so yeah uh it it was a little odd and then of course his voice and everything was just the so, like I said, I'm not going to take too much of your time because there's a, uh, the humor in here didn't work. It was a lot of like a lot of hooks humor didn't really hit as as much as I wanted it to. Uh, there was little humor with Blackbeard that was actually really great when he's like, "Oh, uh, you got the key around your neck, duh, you idiot!" Like I like that. I like this little sl- subtle little um, insults that he gave and like his mannerisms too. And then you have, oh my god! And then you have the editing. I know there was another part. I can't really remember what part it was, but there was one particular part where it goes, it cuts to hook. I mean, it cuts to Blackbeard and Blackbeard. It shows you why he needs a pixie dust that he's, he wants the pixie ducks because he wants to be immortal. He, he's an old man and he snorts the pixie dust pretty much. And he turns, uh, he turns youthful, you know, same old story with all those fairy tales and stuff. But I'm, I'm like watching them like, whoa, like right in the be like when the film started, it felt like I was like in a Harry Potter, not even a Harry Potter movie, but something similar like that where it has to do a witchery and witchcraft and shit. 
it cuts to that part. I'm like, wait a minute. Where did this, where is this coming from? This comes out of nowhere. It felt like I was watching another movie. That particular scene needed to be saved for later on in the film or just done differently because it just was a bad cut. It was a bad, bad cut. It was a messy cut. There's a lot of messy cuts in here. Oh, another part before I get to that, but Hugh Jackman, yeah, he wants these pixie dust. And even the, that whole storyline with him and the pixie dust and youth, it doesn't feel like it felt like we needed more information for it on it or just at least giving us something more about why he wants it so bad or how he uh came about it It, it's just it it just was a forethought it was like a you know in your head an afterthought it was an afterthought so i thought that was just uh very they dropped the ball in that sense so another shot Another crazy thing is uh, Peter, Garrett, all of them are running from away from these birds who, oh my God, these b- birds looked horrible, horrible. The special, be- special effects were good in a lot of places, but these birds, I don't know what they were called, but they're birds chasing after Hook and Peter and Tiger Lily. They looked horrible, just a horrible, horrible design. But they're running through these Avatar 4s, basically. You have, you, they're pretty much in Avatar land. There's a lot of lights everywhere. You see these birds. It's kind of hard to kind of watch this because you got those, those techno lights just blasting away, those rays. But they, they, the camera angle, the direction has Peter going upside down. It was just so weird and so messy. And it, you just, it left you saying, what the fuck am I watching? What am I watching right now? <laughs> Honestly. Uh, I will say, though, the ending was very entertaining um, with, uh, uh, no, the one fight scene when they actually are able, when Kate Mara or Tiger Lily captures them and they have to fight to survive, you know, Hook fights this, their pan. That was actually entertaining. That was fun. That was funny. Uh, It's great use of kind of different kind of fighting one on one fight that we normally see so i really like that it was very whimsical it was very uh humorous it, it worked it worked that particular fight scene when they're in their village but later on at the end everything was actually okay everything was going good you know you had the climax where uh blackbeard finds the fairy kingdom he has peter and everybody held hostage it looks like hook is gonna die there's a nice little emotional moment there um everything works you know a lot of the fighting works the flying ships really love the flying ships everything works on that but then peter flies and in this film i was like they should just have peter fly because right now it's boring the shit out of me and peter not flying it's just it's annoying it's annoying because peter doesn't know how to fly and he's only flown once and he's trying to fly again but he can't but when they do have him fly at the very end of this film I'm like, oh my God, that is why they don't let this kid fly because it looks terrible. When he's flying, it looks so jointed, so terrible. And he does this like superhero kind of thing where he gets all the pixies. And we do see Tinkerbell in this, by the way, but you can't actually see her. She's just like a little fucking light. So we see him get all like telekinesis, use all the fairies or whatever, says, Come on, my friends, go or some shit like that. And the way he says it, and the way he moves his hand forward, and the way he's floating, and the back, the fucking CGI that's going around, it just looked terrible, terrible. Peter flying was terrible. The dialogue throughout this film was bad, not great, not great at all. There is some great things about this though, like when the mermaids showed up. I did like the crocodiles too. But when the mermaid showed up, I was like, okay, so how are they going to rescue Peter? Because Peter gets dragged under by crocodiles. I'm like, they got, of course, they look like beautiful mermaids up top. And then they have the fish, uh, the fins, you know, in the bottom. I was like, okay, how are they going to do this? How are they going to rescue Peter by being a crocodile? And what they do is they use their tails to strike the crocodile. And their tails are like, uh, have this electric current. So I thought that was very clever. And that was actually a great idea. And I thought that was really cool as well. But the humor doesn't really work in this film at all. <gasps> oh oh my god and then <laughs> when blackbeard finds uh the village and he's taking out everybody because of schmeagle schmeagle ratted them all them out when he's raiding everybody and you see the pirates raiding everybody which i absolutely liked when the pirates were sent down from the ship to capture all the kids or whatever just you know 
to, to land. That was really cool. It was like a little bungee thing going on there. A lot of great stunt work. But when they fire their guns, there's just, I, I get it, okay? It's a kid's movie, no blood, no killing. But my God, the pixie dust, whatever the fuck that was. Like, they'd fire the gun, and a little fucking blue, yellow dust comes out of it. To, so it makes us assume that they shot their, a, their person they're trying to kill, and he's dead. That was just too much. It was too much. This movie is so messy. Like I said, I don't hate it. There was some good things about it. The, like I said, it was beautifully done. Some parts needed more CGI or more touch-ups. Dialogue was bad, but there was some particular scenes that worked. The romance between Hook and Tiger Lily was hinted, but really I didn't feel any chemistry between those two. Um, I wanted to, but I didn't feel any chemistry. So... Pan, and uh, this kid who plays Peter Pan, he actually was pretty good in the very beginning. He's very uh, Levy Miller. He was actually really good. I like that little the uh, the way he was acting and kind of in the beginning and just how he he just felt realistic to me. But then as the film kept going along, he was kind of being a little bit whiny. Well, he's a kid. He's being a little whiny. He was just he was kind of I don't know what it was like. He just he just come on, Peter, just fucking fly already or something like that. It's. It's a film that I don't recommend you watching in the theater. I do recommend you watching on Netflix when it hits or Redbox. It just no, I don't even recommend that. I just recommend you waiting to uh, wait for it on cable or Netflix. Uh, it's a film, uh, but I don't recommend this honestly. So if, if I had to choose, I don't recommend this. It's a film you don't have to see. It's nothing too overly special. Uh, other than the really the look of it and the direction was really gr- uh, handled great except part, parts of it. The editing was so messy in here. The music, oh my, I didn't even talk about the music. They used Blitz be, uh, Beat Pop. They used Nirvana's Smells Like Teen Spirit in this film. I shit you not. When Nirvana, when they're singing to Nirvana, the Smells Like Teen Spirit, I was like, and Hugh Jackman is singing along. I'm like, what the fuck? is going on like why why what 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 do not recommend this shitty film now that i think about it yeah now it's shitty because i don't because of just that particular those particular moments so no i don't recommend it so uh thank you guys for listening thank you guys for listening from the spoiler review what you could do is you could actually hit that subscribe button i would really greatly really appreciate it please uh like the video if you like it and comment below love to hear your guys thoughts if you've seen this film it's if you liked it if you like this film i, I can see why you like it because there is some elements in here that i could see uh, a lot of people liking but i don't like it <laughs> it's it, i don't hate it but i really don't like this film so uh like i always say guys grab a tick grab a seat make sure you got some good popcorn to eat I'll see you at the cinema because I work there. (laughs) Bye, guys.